So today, this pump day, I was responsible for doing the training in the morning meeting this morning, okay? We're up here the majority of our life at the car business, okay? So my video day is gonna be geared off of that. So I had to do the morning meeting this morning and we have, a, we have quite a bit of turnover here as far as salespeople go, it seems like. Now we have a couple guys that have been here a couple years, uh, but when I'm responsible for doing the meeting, I try to get away from process for the most part. And though I, I specialize in product, I try to stay away from product sometimes depending on the need. Now we've done an awful lot of product training here lately um, at the dealership, which we typically do, and process, uh, overcoming objections, stuff like that. So today I wanted to do something different. I thought about this last minute. You saw my description. My description says, or asked the question, what are your keywords? Okay, so what are your keywords? Now hopefully most of you guys out there in social media understand what keywords are and what I'm talking about. Okay, so keywords, what are they? Basically their key, keywords are what people are searching for, or, or what people, what taglines, what, what people uh, search by when you're talking about a Google search, a video search, or a, a, a topic search, right? So it's whatever keywords are attached to the product, the people, whatever the case may be, in order for them to be found on social media or maybe Google search or Bing or something like that. Okay, so I asked the question this morning, what are your keywords? I'm asking you the same thing. Okay, so let me tell you how today went. I went into the meeting, I had this idea. I had them fold, and y'all can use this. This is something that uh, is more of a life lesson than anything, and the reason I wanted to do it, because when I was a young man, I didn't have people telling me this stuff. I didn't have people trying to guide me. I got in all kinds of trouble. I didn't listen to anybody, so this is why I wanted to do it. So I took a blank sheet of paper. All right, I had them fold it in half, fat ways, okay, down ways. So the top, I had them write, and my question then was, what's your key words? And what I meant by that, if you had people or wanted people to be able to search for you somehow, some way, whether it's on social media or Google or whatever the case may be, what words would you want them to be able to search to find you? Okay? So I had them write those down. And then after they got done, this is, the, this is a, a, another one. On the bottom half, I had them write uh, how they want to be remembered. What would they want people to be able to say about them um, you know, in life or from life, maybe some accomplishments, maybe maybe how they live their life. What would they want people to be able to see about or say about them, maybe after they were gone, kind of like an obituary. So I had them write those things down. So I started thinking about this prior to the meeting this morning, and I thought about it because at the end of the day, I try to make sure that um, key words are something that I, I really focus on when you're talking about Google searches and stuff like that. Um, I'm not perfect at it, so I struggle with it as well. But I started thinking about keywords. What do keywords mean? Well, keywords are really important. Okay, if you're trying to search for something, keywords are important. So if you look at trending topics, for example, or if you go into Google bar search and you punch in uh, a name or start punching a name, it's going to start filtering through what the most popular searches are in most cases. So that's where I came up with this idea. So I had them write down the top half what searchable keywords would you want people to be able to use to find you? And then at the bottom, how would you want to be remembered? Now the top one, for the most part, I think most of you guys out there, if you're in a car business or just anything, an attorney or whatever, um, you would probably put on there trustworthy, honest, straightforward, um, big hearted, right, Jeffrey, caring, helper, successful, true, friend, loving, uh, willing to help others, willing to go out of your way. Uh, willing to uh, put others before yourself, a family man, a good father, good all those things you probably would want as your keywords. I'm willing to bet. Nice, a good wife, a good mother, uh, caring, good hearted, whatever the case may be. Those are things that you may probably use as your keywords. Okay, I had them write those down. All right, and we went around the room. Those are some of the ones that they mentioned. Okay, then I said, okay, great. Let's go down and, and go over maybe, if y'all want to share them, what you want to be remembered for or how do you want to be remembered. And that's what they put on the bottom section, okay? Like I said, this is a good, this is a good exercise because you need to know 
as, as an empl- employer or maybe in your family, you need to know where you're at. You need to know how you can um, compare yourself or, or how you can um, uh, put yourself in a level maybe that you don't know if you are or not. So the bottom part, what do you want people to say about you maybe after you're gone or how do you want to be remembered? Okay. Uh, I was a good father. I cared about people. I want people to be able to say how honest and front, upfront I was, how much I helped and loved other people, um, how much I, I spoke the truth of the, of the Word of God, whatever the case may be. Those are things that you probably would write down here, right? Now, you might be asking where I'm going with this key thing, right? Um, you would be want to be remembered by some of the same stuff, Jeffrey. That is true. What's up, Craig Harry? You might wonder where I'm going with this because I'm asking you, what are your key words? If you have a piece of paper, all right, or if you can think about these things like Jeffrey did, write them down. Do it just like I said. Think about it, okay? Because now my next question is the kicker to go along with that. So, you know, you you got your key words thought of or written down, and you got how you want to be remembered, maybe some things that you accomplished, some of that stuff. Maybe it's business-related, maybe it's family-related. Whatever, whatever your priorities are, sometimes that's what we want to be remembered for, right? So, look at these things. Think about these things. Now, ask the question to yourself. Can you honestly say, after you thought about these and after you look at what you've written down, can you honestly say that you live those out every single day? Okay, can you honestly say that? Can you look at being honest and trustworthy and and, uh, uh, friendly and maybe uh, outgoing uh, maybe uh, uh, helping others, maybe big heart, whatever those are, whatever you wrote down, great father, great mother, uh, love, my, love my kids, uh, love my wife, family man, whatever it is. Can you honestly look at that list? And I, I posed this question to these guys because they were throwing out some stuff. And I said, honestly, can you look at these things? I didn't ask for an answer. Can you honestly look at these things and say, yes, I live these out? every single day because I'm willing to bet myself included that I probably don't okay I may not take the opportunity to speak to somebody or uh, tell somebody I love them or ask them if they have something I can help them with most of the time that's not gonna be the case now I'm not saying just like what you said Jeffrey I'm not saying you're gonna be perfect at this every day but I think sometimes in life I think sometimes in life myself included because the reason I'm doing these videos and the reason I did this meeting this morning is because this is stuff I'm struggling with. These are things that I do and I struggle with every single day, which is why doing these videos help me because I can actually give you something that I'm struggling with, okay? If you look at this list, chances are you're going to say to yourself, I do not. Because if you're not saying that, you're not being honest with yourself, okay? I don't want you to write something down that's you want somebody... Uh, you know, that's not true, right? That you want to fake somebody with. I don't want somebody speaking at my uh, funeral and saying all these good things about me that aren't true. That's not what I want. Because that's easily that's easy to do. We easily do that every single day because we're so, we're, we so badly want people's um, approval and we want people to like us and we want people to feel good about themselves. And I get that. Right, but sometimes you got to call a spade a spade. Sometimes you got to tell the truth, and I don't want, for any amount of reason, for somebody to be able to lie at my funeral, you know, my eulogy, uh, or whatever um, people may use. Okay, if they write it in the paper, if they say it, I don't want people to be able to search false keywords about me because guess what? If they're false, they won't find you. Do you understand what I'm saying? If the keywords don't match who you are. They're not going to find you. They're not going to believe that about you, okay? Now, granted, one bad situation, one bad uh, mistake or decision can ruin all of those, okay? They can have a bunch of good experience with you, but that one can ruin it. And it takes a long time to get those things built back up. But what I'm posing to you today, if you can look at that list and honestly say you do those every single day, I would say you need to reevaluate your list because I'm chances are you're not. So this is a work that you have to do daily. You have to get up, because there's some days I don't get up in a good mood. Maybe something gets me foul. Maybe something gets me in a bad mood. Maybe my, my little girl's uh, acting acting up in the morning or something like that, and it puts me on a bad mood. So it takes work every single day. So look at yourself. Look at your list. Think about the list of your keywords and what you want people to say about you after you're gone, possibly. Can you honestly say that that's how you live your life every day? Can you honestly look at it and say, these words... 
this statement or whatever you wrote down represents what you do daily. Do you represent your keywords daily? That's something you take with you today because whatever you do in life, whatever you do in life, and I told them this this morning, this is something because there are a lot of younger guys here, they're in their 20s, mid 20s uh, for the most part, lower 20s. And I didn't have people telling me this. I told them, I said, the one thing, if this dealership was gone and you had to go find something else to do, the only thing that you can truly take with you, really, is your character. Your work ethic may be in there, but that may be part of your character. That may be part of who you are. But these key words, whatever you want people to write about you, that's part of your character, what you want people to know about you. Okay, now I know I'm getting long-winded on here, but I want y'all to get this point. I'm not saying I'm perfect at anything, because I'm not. I'll be the first to tell you that I'm not. I'm not the best salesman. I might be average at best, but I have other experiences that maybe I may be good at that I can offer you to help somebody else be better or to grow or to, to accomplish something maybe you were scared to do in the past. Getting in front of this camera, it's tough. I was a little nervous getting on this one because when I'm talking about life stuff, sometimes I get emotional. Sometimes I get to where I want to cry. But at the end of the day, when you're looking at these people you're training, Okay, if you got a big dealership or small dealership, you may, and this, this is true, you may have been or may be the only mentor or person that they can look up to and that you're an example for in their entire life. Okay? I didn't really necessarily grow up with a father figure full time. Okay, just this is be honest. So there's a lot of people like that. Maybe their parents died at a young age. Maybe, maybe they, you know, maybe they had to grow up with grandparents or maybe in foster homes, whatever. So you have to understand that you may be the only person that they can rely on and depend on, but if you are not living what you say you are or who you are, you're not doing them any favors, okay? Because all you are is an example. It's just like your kids. They're going to pretty much uh, copy and do what you do. So today as you go out, look at those keywords. Write them down. If you don't have any, write them down. Think about them. And then write down your eulogy or whatever you want people to say about you after you leave and see if you can honestly say that that's how you live. Because it's one thing to say you're trust, trustworthy and you're lying all the time. Um, but you can, you can fix that. If you can honestly look at those and say, you know what, I'm not living like that today. I haven't lived like that for a while. Okay? Because I looked at them and I said, look, I've been struggling with some stuff for a while. But you know what? Today's, today's a new day. And I can work on it today. So I hope y'all take this out there today. I hope I didn't ramble too much because I think this is a good exercise for anybody. Because at the end of the day, like I said, I told these guys, I said, we're around each other probably more than we are around our own family. And there's going to be times when we don't get along. There's going to be times when we don't want to do something. Those are all true. But when you go home at night and you lay your head on the pillow, can you look at these keywords? Can you answer the question, yes, I live like this every single day because I'm willing to bet you probably don't. Not that you'll be perfect at it, but that is something that you work for and strive for to be better at every single day. I hope this helps somebody today. I hope you're motivated today to go out and do something good for somebody. If you didn't catch my video yesterday about blinkers, you might want to do so because oftentimes we get in a hurry and we're inconsiderate when it comes to other people. This is my way of being considerate to you and helping you out today. I hope you have a great day. This has been the Fist Pump Guy over at Bondi's Toyota, Enterprise, Alabama, selling cars the right way because it's the only way I know. Follow the Fist Pumped Enterprise.